is normally just full of supercars. Into the fence, didn't I? Sent him all the way up to Yorkshire and fit on the trailer. His hand in his notice, he's only got a couple of weeks left of us, which is a shame. I don't know if he sold anything. Right, I need to get on the road in about 20 minutes, I reckon. Just double check on that, actually. Chops that he wants a uh, t-shirt with morning, get out of the way on it. This is the place, if we can get in, it's normally just full of supercars. Morning, no parking. Look at that bad boy. with R8s, literally everywhere. Sheesh. Right, we'll go in and meet the man. I don't even know where the dyno is. I assumed it was in that M bay. If it is, it's gonna be a pain to get down there, but ah, I like the fact that that's a twin turbo. What is that? Is that a, God, I don't even know. I know it's a Lambo, but I don't know what type. It says, yes, I'm compensating. Fair play. Is this just the stockpile of <laughs> standard exhaust? As you can tell, we do a few. Yeah. Surely they're still worth something, aren't they? Um, only people can be bothered to open them up to get the cats out. the heat from it about 20 feet away. That's cool isn't it? I like that colour. Blue. Move my little tractor into it. You know what? The few track days I've done, what engine are you running in there? Okay. That's a two litre you've supercharged or? Fully built and supercharged. Yeah, 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 okay. Maybe I've seen you. Like, I've, when I've gone and done track days before, I've only ever done it in like ET3 and FN2 type bars. The fastest thing going around a track is one of those. That's probably what I assume to be on Mac at the moment. That one. Really? Bloody hell. Yeah, quick. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I can live with this snap onto a box, I think. That would be your bed section. It's better than most camper vans. <laughs> How do you get into this sort of stuff. Oh, well, I was, um, I worked for Audi for 10 years okay. at headquarters on V8. Fair enough. Powertrain, so that's where it started. Yeah. And I ended up having R8s on a drive at home, mate, and I thought, oh, maybe there's a business in this. So yeah. 2016, I got a unit, started that, and never looked back. So, yeah, that's where it all came from. Um, yeah. And yeah, now a bit of, a bit of everything. So Carl's X Mercedes, Matt's X Ferrari, Mitch's X Porsche, then a bit of McLaren, so. Yeah, it's cool though because you've definitely built like the reputation to be the people you come to for yeah, this sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah.
we got a cheeky little thousand pound Jeep out there, mate. That could be your new uh, shift the metal filming car. Off-roader. Car driver over her. <laughs> car driver over her. That's what you deserve. I did. Haste it, mate. They've never seen scores like it. <sighs> yeah, so now I've just got to uh, corroborate my answers. Got to get Sophie to do a form with experience of me in adulthood being like it, and I get one of my family members to have experiences of me being like it as a child. I've never been hyperactive. So basically, I've scored like top tier for attention deficit but not very high for hyperactivity which sounds about right because I'm a bit of a slouch but my brain isn't so um yeah um <laughs> this is why I need to help um so yeah I'll do that and then they'll give me a diagnosis of ADHD, they'll get in touch with my GP and then they can prescribe me some medication if I want it, which would be amazing because everyone says it's amazing. Um, this Elvans stuff, or whatever else, doesn't it? I mean, it sounds great, everyone does feel amazing on it, but then it is because it's basically methamphetamine. So it's like taking meth, it's like you're gonna feel good, aren't you? So I don't want to get I, we'll see. But I'll try it for a while. So if I, if it works on me, I'm just going to force feed it to Sophie because she's... Anyway, yeah. I'll keep you updated if anyone wants to know about my ADHD journey and uh, how uh, it may help or whatever. Let me know. That's fine, I'll go for a go, I'll go load up and figure all that then. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Alright mate, I'll speak to you in a bit. I'll speak to you in a bit. I'll speak to you in a bit. You had to like rip it open to open the box, which is a bit of a shame, but... You know. You've got to be able to show them off, innit? Speed recording message alternator is missing. <laughs> Someone's stolen your alternator. That quick. 12.7. That's not me trying to do that. Okay. I'll rename you Adrian if we didn't get anyone go. Oh, 
<laughs> right. Let's get rid of the oil. Uh, I can make it reach to there, mate. Wait, no, 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 Mark. Yeah, Mark. What, what do I do? No, if you hadn't turned the steering wheel. <laughs> I can't get the screen to turn on. It's a shame. We've got an oil warning light. Not great, but what I'm most interested in <laughs> check out the full down TV. Look, DVD player in the thing here. Look, hey, it's on. The remote doesn't seem to work, so we'll have to use. Oh, that doesn't seem to work either. Nothing seems to work. Yay! Just need some batteries. Oh, we still got that Kevin and Perry Go Large DVD. <laughs> I might have binned it. I'm going to do a video on this. We can't give too much away. We're ruining it. Now make sure you subscribe right now if you want to see the porno on the overhead. <laughs> Jeep screen. It won't be porno, this belonged to a Jesus man, it says it on the back. Yeah, we need a lot of triple A's. Oh, could be brilliant. I'd pay a thousand pounds for that alone, never mind the car. Shame with the Front screen doesn't work. Sorted. <laughs> okay, just take a quick minute to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Vehicle Score once again. It is the free car check that you can use online. It gives you a score on your car from 1 to 999 based on its MOT, history, age, mileage and many other factors, and there's a million and one other things it can do as well. So just to demonstrate this, I'm going to input Jaguar XF Sport Brake. Lovely thing. Um, the reg is Mike Lima, 1.5 Whiskey Zulu X-Ray. We can get our score. It tells us that it's 812 out of 999. That's absolutely amazing. It gives us good parts and bad bits on the good side. Last MIT had no comments, recent MIT pass rates high, mileage is between 30 and 80,000, bad bits, none. It's just the age and mileage is taken into account there. Um, we can look at all kinds of things from vehicle details to vehicle performance. Let's find out how many brake ponies this has got. 161 brake ponies. Uh, 0 to 60 in 10.5 seconds. It's not actually that quick, really, is it? But it is only the 2.2, not the 3 litre, that's probably why. So uh, we'll make it a bit more economical i suppose you can look at the mot history you can look at the mileage tracker you can find um, vehicle estimates on what it you know currently is worth what it might be worth in the future there's even an ai mechanic so if you said my jaguar xf vents won't open why it might come back and tell you that there's you know something you need to check it's incredibly smart i've also just noticed there's a section on here that says where did you hear about vehicle score and of course being a loyal follower of the channel, you'll hit that one that says shifting metal, just to keep me in vehicle scores good books. All this stuff's really handy when you're looking at buying a car or you're sifting through loads of different cars, give you a score, give you an idea of that car, whether it's worth buying. But before you hand over your hard-earned cash, what you do need to do is do a history check and vehicle score can sort those out for you. We've got either the salvage report, which is £2.97, the ultimate report, £8.97, or the ultimate report plus, which is the same as the ultimate report, but it's got £10,000 worth of Experian data guarantee. So should it turn out that that car does have a category marker against it, which it didn't say on the report, you've got cover for up to 10 grand. So ultimate peace of mind, that's £11.97. But if you use my code shifting metal 20, it's £9.58. Absolute bargain. Take that one, Jace, or... Oh, no, yeah.
Yeah, yeah, I didn't know but you had something that, you know, maybe p people are interested in that's... Uh, uh, not that doesn't have a... Uh, decent as far as I know. No, I mean, they might drum up some, make some, some... some mini, never know. Let's see. I'm happy to take it. I mean, at least get these other ones back, and I get those, that tyre ordered for the BMW. I did find the right tyre in the end for that BMW, but it is horrendously expensive. How much is it? £206 for one. That is for that one that was damaged, though, because you said you were going to leave the two rears. So I could do the one that it failed on, and it, at least it would then be matching. Is it definitely a Pilot Sport it, Super Sport? No, it's not a Sport 4, I cannot know. 100% matching. It goes exactly as, because I put in all the proper tyre details. See what the, um, I can't remember if the tread's good on the other side, I think it is. Okay. But yeah, if it's good on the other side when it comes back, yeah, that's fine by me. Cool. Well, let's go and do the, um, we'll go and pick up these cars then, and um, get the ball rolling on that. Steph's giving me some stuff to do on that Land Rover, to have a look at this DPS stuff. Um, I can't see any other outcome that I was given the money back at the moment, but we'll see. Yeah, it's really weird because when I drove it there. No, I'm right, thank you, mate. No, we, we need to get going in a second, mate. We've got to go and we've got to do MOT runs and stuff. Alright, okay, no worries. Um, obviously, I drove it to MOT with Mark, then from MOT to Swallows, and it drove absolutely perfectly. Yeah. No I mean, issues. I, admit, I didn't, didn't realise there were no treasure because it was probably taken to him, really, wasn't it? They would only have ever come back and said, well, we can't find anything wrong. Yeah, well, I, I was because I know Adrian hadn't essentially turned any lights off himself, but um, Steph had said that they had obviously bought in because, you know, from his understanding, engine management, like, they come on or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to, yeah, they've gone into limp mode. Um, when I said to the guy at Swallows, I don't have any lights on, I do have a scenario where it feels a bit flat when you're going to pull away, but then it's not a performance vehicle, it's not supposed to be. Yeah. Rip your face off when you pull away. Um, yeah. I would, gonna, yeah, I'm going to ask them when I get there why they're suggesting to do a force regen if it is only 30% full because, well, I'm not quite sure why you would force a regen at 30% full. I think that was just a question of straws for Yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, hopefully they'll yeah, have a report. Well, Steph is, um, the, thing, the thing that Steph's come up with is said that if it's these, um, the pressures he's given me to look at means that it would be a, a certain thing, so we'll, we'll, we'll look and see. Yeah, that's all I had left. Might. It's not my usual choice, obviously. That'll be it, yeah. So we need Todo key as well, don't we? Uh, oh, that's right, yeah. Mm. He's done some good work with that tea cut, I tell you. Whoever owned this before. You have to do like an Austin Powers 50 point wriggle. Much, much later.
spray these wheel trim universal spray paint sprays on everything a bit of aluminium Chemical reaction like it. It looks awful now, but give it three years. Right. We got the Cayman in the queue for a wash, but that has been photographed. Video for that went out last night. Um, and what's been happening is our wheels redone, isn't it? So, you probably couldn't tell in our video, but they were a bit uh, flaky. They'd obviously been spray painted. Someone said, yeah, these are 19s. Apparently it had 20 inch alloy wheels, spec to standard, but I wonder if they went back to 19s for comfort or something. Not sure. Um, but we went back again because I think it looks good. A lot of people in the comments said, Oh, I should have done silver or it needed silver wheels, but I think it looks bloody good with black wheels, don't you? Me personally, I like the black and white panda look. Either way, it's not desperate for a wash. What is desperate for a wash is our part exchange polo, which we're doing a video on, so we'll shuffle these around, I think. Nice, no, I don't like. I meant to be fitting on cars in there, you know, and I've just started cleaning cars. Why? I don't know. This is why I need an ADHD assessment, or needed one, and now I've had one. Maybe we might better move the uh, Disco Sport over into the car park, just to get it out of the way for the minute. Is that what's going on the road, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Because uh, it's a customs car, it's taxed and whatever. Yeah. Okay, on the road. Uh, the... i tell you what we could do, is then do that, then take the Porsche wheels out the back of the Peugeot 208. Mm-hmm. Oh. Don't have um, the 208, please. No. Um, Somewhere. I, the uh, I might have hung them by the door, like the, that, that back door. So yeah, that's fine. Is that the ones that are on the stand, the Porsche wheels? What? Which Porsche wheels are these? Uh, so they're, just, they're, they're those ones for the 911. Ah, okay. The, the original lobster claws. So we might yeah. swap them onto it later. Yeah. So I might get that later. Yeah, so yeah, we can sure. take pictures of that and with them on. Yeah. So people might prefer it. Yeah, I'll get them taken out then. Um, and then that can go in the car park as well, if there's the, a space. Yeah. I'll do that then. So cool. Peugeot and this, just go. Here he comes. <laughs> right? How are you taking that? There's Jason. You're going out, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you pay far too much attention to what I look like, you weirdo. <laughs> Just very observant, Jason, that's all. Very observant. Yeah. You sold any cars today? You weren't hitting things in this, did you? <laughs> no, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd driven into the fence, didn't I? Oops. What? There were, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> about <laughs> that. <laughs> Um, I was picking up a car from someone's driveway and I reversed into the, the gate and I, I bent it. <laughs> yeah, but I had the great start to put it really. Basically what happened is when I was leaving I then fixed it. I bent the gate post back and I was like, yeah, don't worry, it's fixed. 
So yeah, they did tell me not to worry anyway, but I did feel bad because it was like, <laughs> yeah. These are, oh, come on. These are jobs you give people when you don't like them. That's how I feel. Yeah, yeah that's how I feel. Oh, you're having a, you're having a giraffe, mate. I noticed Jason's growing his hair up. Better to deliver or not. Back to the original green pea. We'll try and do the wheels a quick blast in silver as well. We put some acid cleaner on them. Yeah, I just have to rinse like the old paint. Do you know who I am? <laughs> what a big name, mate. Oh, my, yeah. Uh, Hubcap's got rain on. Just from that. It covers the the water drops on it now. Cover the fact that it's doing like a bad chemical reaction. So really, he's got more hair, Joe or Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who's got more hair, Joe or Jason? <laughs> Me. All right, yeah. Oh. Get your hair down to the lake of mine. See who's got more hair. Yeah, mine's pretty bad actually. But you know, I just grow it long to try and hide it. I think Growing it looks, long makes it more obvious. Yeah, I think it makes it worse. It's a bigger contrast. Yeah. No, I reckon you got more than Jason. Thanks. You didn't realise I stood there, did you? No, I didn't, that's why I said it. <laughs> Joe likes to do so. Who's got more, Dan or Macaulay? What, autism? Well, yeah, or autism. <laughs> um. I don't know actually. Dan hides it really well though. I reckon if you put it back, it's like back here. I reckon it's pretty bad. Anyone uh, working in a Turkish hair and teeth clinic, sponsorships are available. Mike doesn't need it, a prick. No, 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 I'm good, mate. I'm, I'm good. Hair's going strong. For now. For now. This physique doesn't happen by accident. <laughs> you know. You have to be prepared, and I don't have time to make meal preps, so I buy them. Takes a lot of fuel for this machine. <laughs> <laughs> How good it is. Boys, I can't really do in between the Iveco. That looked good enough to, to go to auction, I think. I'll do this side now, I'm eventually getting this off. I'll stick your stuff and remove all of it, and I'll just polish it all. I'll pull the door out and then polish the door separately. And polish that separately. I'm not going to do the roof, can't see it. No, no point. I well, love you because it's a heavy cut, it's usually like two passes and you're done. It's better. That's what we should have done before we put stickers on. Yeah, it wouldn't take too long. It's not taking too long to get as far as I am now. Get some of that back to black on a bumpers. Should be looking spot on. Right, plan is we'll go and see Transfer Motion Boys on Monday. We'll have the RS5 carbon clean. You up for a stay over on the Monday night? Because then we could go and see the Trench from Ocean Boys. No, sorry, carbon clean on the RS5. Then we can get on a road, get up to the Trench from Ocean Boys. I don't know why I'm doing a stupid accent. <laughs> then we can go and see the Trench from Ocean Boys, sort out that stuff. And then we'll only be an hour away, so we can scoot on over to Leeds, have a little stay over. And maybe go and buy a couple at the Tuesday sale at G-Ski. Uh, 
morning. Morning. Hello. Uh, no. Um, I don't know if you've got the right number, because someone was trying to call one of your engineers trying to call me yesterday. Um, this is Joe from Barrett Motors and Burn One City. That's right, no problem. Alright, cheers. Sorry. This is not great, is it, with your new telecoms company? Phone number. Get your telephone number right, and they've done it. So that yesterday, he was messaging me and calling me at like 7 o'clock in the morning, like, your open reach engineer coming to install your broadband and whatever, just check it. It's, it was it for, <laughs> it's like, is this the right person to speak to for alpha hire in <laughs> bloody like Essex or something? Like, no, it's not. Not right. You're going to be for a guy that wants to buy the mini pace runner with the knackered engine. Uh, what would oh. you charge for the car plus delivery to Doncaster postcode? Uh, it won't be happening. Yeah. I've got someone lined up to fix it anyway. Do you want a cup of tea? Eight hours. Four. Hey, Dan said he'd be up for taking trains and stuff and whatever. <laughs> St. Andrews, Scotland. Huh? Well, do you want to come down and visit and then take a Porsche back? <laughs> Is that you bought a Porsche? No, someone's just, Jason's saying, someone's interested in the Cayman, but they're wondering how much it would cost to get it delivered to them in Scotland. Bad. Yeah? I want to get in it, you know. Massive lens in the way. Yeah. Um, it won't. It, 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 mm, how big are the? How tall are the tires? It won't like deflate down to the fact that you can just squeeze the tires in and. Right. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the picture so I can have a look and see. Um, can if you want. I'm just trying to figure out if there was a an obvious solution. Um, you haven't got any tools with you, I take it. Well, I was wondering if you could take the wheels off of one side and flip them round, because obviously they're concave. Um, okay. Um, tell you what. So we don't want to waste a trip. You haven't bit. Shit. Hang on. <clears throat> Sorry, I just dropped the phone. Um, I've done others and I've paid for um, deliveries, but I wonder if I can still just book a collection if they're still there. Yeah, so the one next to um, Costa or whatever it is. Yeah, okay. A, a disco would fit on there, wouldn't it, do you think? The discovery. You couldn't. There is a golf, yeah. Um, let me see. Yeah, let me just see if I can actually still. Um, uh, no, I think they've. Because I've paid them to deliver them, they've. Well, it's not even giving me an option. They might have already, it might already be on their way, do you know what I mean? They might have already left, and I imagine it's a bit of a cock around to uh, I don't know. Well, I, bought, I bought stuff from Westbury, um, but that's the other way. Um, I'll tell you what we've got is... It's... Oh, well, it's a bit of a... No, it's a complete detour, isn't it? We've got the Bedford ones that I was going to get you to go and get tomorrow. But they're... That's, that's, that's a whole... Really? I would have thought it is. Well, it, don't worry, it doesn't matter. I'm just more worried that you know, you've know had a bloody long drive for not taking much. Let me see if I've got anything, see if there's a chance I could buy anything there. And at least, what a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, all right, I'll speak to you in a minute. All right, cheers, please. We sent them all the way up to Yorkshire to pick up our Ranger and uh, might fit on the trailer. 
because it's got aftermarket wheels and whatever, which we measured everything, but we didn't we couldn't really take into account the aftermarket wheels and they're considerably wider. Shocker. Okay, so he's gonna let you put it back in the yard again. Okie dokie. Uh, I was just trying to see if there was like an MOT centre around the corner so we could have got got it MOT'd or changed the tyres or something. Well, there is a little place quite local but I don't know what, what we would do with it to be honest. Yeah, well it'll have to be um, next week anyway because I was hoping you might go to Westbury for me on Saturday seeing as you're working because we've got two cars there as well. Uh, and then, yeah. How many how many sets of keys are there for it? Oh no, you're giving them the keys back, aren't you? That's fine. Maybe I can twist Sam's arm into going and getting MOT for me, and I can drive it back because I'm going to be up there on Tuesday. Oh yeah. Um, you just have to head back, mate. Just head back as normal, and if I do get anything in Birmingham on the way back, then maybe I can book a collection. But if not, then um, you know, my mistake. All right, mate. No worries. Right. Cheers, mate. Bye. Fag. What a waste of a day. But we're going to be there on Tuesday. So I wonder if, if we're going to go there Tuesday for the auction, if we could speak to this garage, get an MOT book for that morning, pick it up, take it there. What's the sales as MOT, though? Well, we're in no worse off position than we were when we started, then we'll still have to get someone else to come and collect it, but... You know, you'd hope that uh, it would. Maybe I can say to them, you know, if it fails on some stupid shit, could you? Yeah. On the back of a, on a trailer or something. So yeah, I mean, I could take the big trailer out there. And then that means you'd have to drive the smart car back. So let's not, let's try and let's see if we can find a better solution, which is to Hi oh, yeah, there, um, I don't suppose you have any availability for an MOT on Tuesday. Okay, brilliant. Uh, could I book that? I haven't, no. What's the reg of the vehicle? Uh, good question. I knew you'd ask me. Give me two seconds, I will find it for you. Uh, so it's Echo Papa 19, November Victor Tango. That's it, yeah. No problem, I'm not sure name. Uh, my name's Joe Betty, B E W T Y. No problem, I'll book him for you next Tuesday at half past 11. Perfect, thanks very much, we'll see you then. No worries, see you then. Cheers, Bye. That's what you call thinking outside the box. Oh, yes, yeah, so you have to drive that back if that passes because I'll be turned back there. Bloody. I could, I could whack the trailer onto that because it's got a tow bar and I could tow back with that. Let's have a look at his last MOT. <laughs> <laughs> this would be where it's like, rest, 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 rest. Shouldn't be, it's bloody 19 play. Everything's really snappy on my computer at the moment. I don't know if it's because it's just ram packed full of videos. Good news for all you lot. There's an outstanding recall on it. Uh, oh, well. Huh? It passed. A year apart, and it had only done like no miles. That was 2023. What's it on now? It's on 83 now, so it has been driving. I mean, that be, that's good news. Didn't get used much then, did it? Between the 30th of August 2022 and the 11th of May 2023. I reckon it'll pass. 
mean, look at it. They'll see that. They'll see the 20 quid in the ashtray. And it'll fly through. Just kidding. If it doesn't pass, I'll just drive it back anyway. Stick with the tray blades. I know, just fuck it. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, that means you'll have to. Oh, I can tow with that. Basically, pull that end panel, like panel back in. Is, is the post broken? I think that's the problem, isn't it? It actually be like broken, broken, yeah. Has it actually snapped? Is it? Yeah. Another post in this side, and screw them again. Oh, like. uh, what? We'll drive one down through here. Oh, we've got the big posts from the end of the gate. Rescue that. Everything else hidden down the back of that. Whiz that off then. Huh? I'll try and whiz that off then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you fancy a DIY job, you can go to a proper job and I imagine they'll sell tubs of like post creep. Yeah. And we can just dump it in there, you just put some water on top. We've got a spade somewhere? Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Sweet. Yeah, alright. Well, I'll see if I can whiz that out then first. Um, because if not, I'll grab a post whilst I'm out and then. And that panel will go in all right. It's a bit rotten at the bottom, but she can moan about that if she wants. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, because that's just a standard size panel, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, has he chopped it down though? No, he hasn't. No. Yeah, that'd be fine. Sweet. Yeah, that should go in the same spot. So if we get, leave it like that for now. Yeah. Just dig out this side to get a, uh, and then probably if you go to the front row, <laughs> what you want to get is some flat straps. So we can screw from the side, because we're not going to go, what, like that stuff? Well, yeah, like that, but just flat, straight yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. So we can go on like that. Yeah. Because, we, well, if we got some really big screws, you'd have to get like six inch ones. And get those a proper job as well to go through the two. Because otherwise, we've got to, you'd have to completely mess up their we'll, block paved driving. We'll MacGyver it together, it'll be fine. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Dad's uh, digger from Timo has gone uh, <laughs> down the farm now. How is it? Is it, is it pretty, pretty decent? Right. I mean, he's dug a trench that's like uh, 100 metres long, is it? Oh right, I'll God. leave you to it. Yeah, no worries. Prepare deep holes in concrete. Deep. It's like me, very deep in my thoughts. And then you've got all these people with the two names, John George. There's gear shifters on the back of the steel, and then he's flipped one of them. And it oh, stayed really? in first. So is it really here or is it? It's here, it's absolutely fine. As soon as I pulled away, cruised up through the gears, changed the gears. So the shifters. Complaint. It wouldn't come out of first gear. Just when put it in manual mode. Yeah, I, that's what I think. Yeah, no, that's what you did that once. Although, as I drove away, it did have one little stutter, and other than that, it's been absolutely fine. Lovely, in fact. Something happens with people's cars, and they're just like, Blah! Like, oh my god! <laughs> it's not on the usual radio station I left it on. Let's do a warranty complaint. Pretty much. 
But first, let me take to Facebook and slag them off. An impressive hole. Well, deep. Six inches worth of deepness. Still hole. Do not mix more cement than can be used in five to ten minutes. I don't know how much cement I can use in five to ten minutes. Stick the post in and we'll pour the chisel around it. You want both? Yeah. Most definitely. I probably should have got more. Done. What we need is well, we need something to hold it directly upright, so we need to use some other bits of timber and whatever. Music sounds like murder <laughs> tunes. Screen your car. Well, I've got some other screws. If you, that behind you, Joe. Okay. Well, this would do just for now, anyway. Just... That's a big screw. We've got a spirit level anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never seen work like it, have you? <laughs> no, I haven't. What's that meant to mean? Could have done more concrete, really. Cement, even, I should say. In fact, what we've we got? Sand and cement mixed. Couldn't get any post creep. Did a proper job, apparently. Some uh, post crete. We've got to go out and collect a van in a bit, yeah, just to put some more in there. Cause so it's literally just. That will hold it in place, but that won't hold nah, it. Nah, it's only the that wind. stuff, and then they only had like bags of um, filling in your like cracks on your pavement. Didn't have yeah. any other stuff there. It's all good. Now I was going to go and drive off somewhere else. I've got to go back to MOT later anyway, drive past. Um... Right. Then we've got to come up with a solution to actually bolt the two bits together. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah. We've got plenty of planks of wood and other bits. Oh, yeah. That'll fill the gap. That's exactly what we want. That'll definitely fill the gap. Put that out of the way. Let that go off. So someone ripped that out of the ground with a digger. We should try and find, I wonder if you can find, I'm sure you can, someone tagged me, I think personally, in a clip of like a, like, I don't know, what are they called, like a, a sea lion, a seal, a sea world, and it's like, they just put at shifting metal in every video. It's fair, it's fair. Mm -hmm. I thought about 
Yeah. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right. Off we go and pick up a deranged van. Deranged van? Yeah. Transit Custom that's got a £5,000 deranged like body kit and everything on it. Okay, where from? Only from BTA. I've just gone over some old lady or something. So, you join us in our second Iveco daily recovery truck conversion that we had done, affectionately known as Green P, because it's very green, it's the next Asda thing, and it's got racing red seatbelts. I actually had this up for sale for a little while and no one really seems to be keen at the minute. I don't know if it's just because it's green, because everyone seems used to fall over themselves. When I used to do the older generation of these in white, it was a right little good deal selling these. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna send it off to auction because I'm kind of sick of seeing it sat there and hopefully we'll get a reasonable amount for it because, do you know what, it's one of those weird things. Some stuff sells well in a certain market, not well in another market. Like sometimes we can't sell a car at the garage I'll ask Sophie if she can advertise it on Facebook and she'll get more for it privately than she would, you know, via a garage. Don't ask me why, but sometimes when people see stuff at an auction, you've probably seen me do it. You see it at an auction, oh, I could buy that, that'd be good. So uh, hopefully this being put in front of people who are looking for cars and vans and things, they might be like, oh, I could use one of those and maybe they'll buy it. But we'll put a reserve on it and we'll see what happens. Obviously, we didn't really use this one that much because we got the black one that's got the tow bar and the taco and everything fitted in it, which this one hasn't. We weren't doing as much transport, so Josh had ended up going to Germany with Jordan to work on Hummers and random stuff. So we were down to just one transport driver, which was Macaulay, and he preferred the black truck. But now, Macaulay is handed in his notice. Macaulay is handed in his notice. He's only got a couple of weeks left of us, which is a shame. And I'm just wondering whether we actually hire a replacement driver or not, or maybe it works better as a model where we just pay for deliveries and slim down, because overheads are always high. I don't know yet, but one thing I do know is we don't really need this, and it's just money sat in it that we could have back and maybe we don't need both of our trailers either as well as the Navara so I might just clear a bit of uh, space and have less things to worry about I guess if you do see this in a BCA auction you'll know it's mine it probably will have been and gone by now but she's a lovely little truck we got our beacons wired in got a pretty much a brand new bed on it I'm even leaving the set of brand new straps and everything on it so strange no one wanted it beforehand maybe it's got something to do with the wing that's a slightly different color might have put people off but we'll see what happens I'll keep you updated on uh, how this goes at auction no oh no that literally that's just fake bits of plastic so they don't show that on the kit, but I mean, it looks like it's cool exhaust. Look at that. Proper. Definitely need a van for this job. Literally nothing. Right, it's better. So you put your water in first.
mean, when it says clean water, how clean? It's a muddy hole. It says to fill it up until it stops running away. But it's kind of stopped, doesn't it? Sorted. That ain't going anywhere. We'll find out soon. Kind of pooped a little bit onto her driveway, but I'm sure that'll be alright. Quite cool, isn't it? As far as vans go. This up for our raffle winner, James Simmons. Just under 60 miles to the gallon from new, so not bad. But it, when I started it, it said engine needs to run for 10 minutes to perform maintenance. <laughs> Whatever that means. I mean, it looks all right. This is kind of okay. It's got heated seats. Oh, it is all touch, but touch. Touch things. Good morning to you. Mm. How are you? Right. Do you want a little cup of tea? A little yeah. Rosie Lee? Two and a half scoops of coffee in this one for Jason. See if he complains whether it's not strong enough now. <laughs> if, it's, if you think it's not too much, it's not, I can assure you. It needs to be like a syrup. Mark's got COVID, so don't kiss him or something. Is that, what's your policy on it now or whatever? And I'm still up to work here, and if you have, so. Yeah. It's a bit 2022 news, really. <laughs> like, who's doing COVID tests these days? Yeah, I know you're COVID. It's a bit weird, but you haven't got COVID. We've got the Ampere running just charge the battery? Really. No, well, potentially, but there's a, when I started it, it said needs to do self-maintenance, needs to run for 10 minutes. Ah, okay. So we'll see what happens. Right, should we go and give this to uh, COVID boy? Okay, end of the week again. It's been absolutely flat out this week. I think I might go home and sleep until Monday, to be honest. I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, and we've got an even busier week next week. We're, we're out and about Monday, Tuesday, me and the Tobster. So there will be an interesting weekly next week going up to going up north, see some ruffians. Uh, the transfer motion, lads. Then we're going to go across from Liverpool Way to Chesterfield Way to go and see Dave and the crew at Car Dealer Pro aka the lovely car company and then we've got to pop up to G3 we've got to try and get an MOT on a car that's there and then hopefully we can drive it back maybe even bid on some cars while we're there who knows um, but yeah it's going to be very busy and then 
we've still got our staff off so by the time we get back it'll be catch up big time but uh, hey ho we will overcome we are made of sterner stuff so we need to do best car bought best car sold biggest headache and biggest win so best car sold I'm trying to think what has he sold um, I think we sold much this week it's been quite quiet um, I don't know if he sold anything Uh, we've got some lined up. I think we're going to have sold our 10 grand Range Rover that you would have seen me talk about in the previous weekly that came in in a part exchange. Uh, we think we might have sold this Audi S5, which hasn't been here long. We probably, maybe by this point, you might have seen a video on that, actually. Um, as I predicted, that seems like it's been quite popular. A lot of people are interested in that. Not that it's sold yet, but definitely a lot of interest. So... I'm not 100% sure what has sold, but let's just say best car sold the 10 grand Range Rover. Uh, Rover, Run Range Rover, because I think that has been very popular and it's not likely to hang around very long. Then best car bought. We're doing a lot of videos on the cars that we have bought on the main channel, so I've got to pick a car that is a good car for the channel, for the Barrow Motors channel. But there isn't, we don't want to double up doing it on Shifting Metal and Borough Motors channel. So, we've got two cars that are at Westbury Auctions. I've been struggling to pick up, and I think I won't get a chance to get Macaulay to pick them up until the Wednesday. We've got a Mercedes SLK and an Audi A7. I think I'm going to say the SLK will be the best car bought, because I think I got it for quite a good price, and it's got quite nice little AMG bits and pieces on it. So... There will be a car of the week video of that uh, out by the time you're watching this video i'll put the link in the description and you can watch that on the barrow motor channel then biggest headache and biggest win biggest headache we've had is with one of the cars that we bought in it turns out that the person who was selling it claimed their other half had paid off the finance and they showed us a kind of settlement thing or at least we think unless someone made a big mistake um, but it turns out they hadn't. They're going through a divorce. Blah blah blah. We've got it settled now. But it was a bit of a a foobar foobar. It was a bit of a yeah muck up. So that was a bit of a stress. Not so much for me. Jason's been sorting it out because I was like nothing to do with me. That's your problem to fix. We did get there in the end. But it was a it was a bit of an awkward one with what's going on between. We're in the middle of a divorce basically. It's not ideal at all. Um, and then biggest win. What's been our biggest win, Tobes? Um, uh, was it this week we went? Yeah, I think biggest win was going up to RE, meeting Ricky, doing our dyno. You probably would have seen a video on that on the channel already. If you haven't, you can check that out. Uh, so we took up our Audi RS5, which are currently raffling off on feelgoodcompetitions.com. Five pounds, but it's currently buy one ticket, get one ticket for free. And from this video on for a week, I'm going to make it buy one ticket, get two tickets for free. So even if you've already bought some tickets, it's worthwhile buying some more because your odds are even lower, higher. Your odds of winning are higher. I, yeah, I never understand odds, but it's good. Yeah, that's it. Biggest win, biggest I think we've covered everything. Um, don't forget to check out the video of the SLK. By the time that's arrived, we'll have done a video on that. Yeah, and next week's going to be a good one as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like it. It will help us out massively. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, you're missing out on the chance of winning a £2,000 tag while you watch. When we reach 75,000 subscribers, I'm giving that away. Yeah, that's it. Don't forget to tune in. Same time, next place. Same time, next place. Same time, same place. Next week. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.